Uh, <clears throat> oh my goodness. Well, hello, 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 and welcome. This is Joy with the Jewel Design, and we're back. We're finally back. Mm. It's been busy. It's been crazy, and I'm so sorry. It's been like, it feels like two weeks since I've done a video. Um, so many things were pre-recorded to get through two weeks ago, but that was hit and miss, and then I had to take a week off to get the store up and running. So that is launched so I get to take a moment finally and craft so I want to get back to our lovely little retro uh, floral wallpaper <clears throat> kit piece and this is taking an old um old meaning probably I've had it for uh 10-15 years it's, it's a, it was a jewelry bag I found in my stash of stuff and so 10 to 1 my husband bought me something probably from one of his favorite antique shops and it came in this bag when he bought it and then it ended up you know oh here by the way honey and you know ended up in my stash of things so when we did we started doing our repurposed um series here using you know other pieces of packing and fun stuff we grabbed this lovely silvery marbled bag and we now have it as a double double pocket cover right and we have journal cards here in the front and sleep back, ready to go. And we'll, um, I still have to create a larger, taller journal card here in the back to make this and keep the cover stout. But we did do some layering in the inside to make two pockets for our cover. And so we have more journal cards and tags in here also. A double tag, really cute, easy, right? Fun to work with. But I just love just the, I took uh, this large belly band that I did and then did some scrap paper and you know put some of the fussy cut florals on it so there are reels and shorts for all of these things between my YouTube and my um Instagram account but yeah this most of this got done of course on camera so definitely we'll click back to that if you're curious how this all started out but it's been it was a lot of fun tweaking it trying to figure out like areas of like oh let's do this or that so today we are working on the signature and a potential cover piece so that we're going to, again, reuse, right? Uh, support your local library. It was a donation card envelope thing, but I loved how it folded and it had a pocket in it. So we're going to cover this up to utilize that pocket and insert it as like a pa part of a page. So we have some background pages that we'll cover this up with today, I hope. Um, if not, that'll start next week's, or not next week's, but it'll start the next video and you know, with more actual journaling so hopefully you'll stick around with me today as we sort of work on the inside guts of this deal now because it is a very small journal cover um this baby's only four and a quarter wide by just a smidge over seven it's like the, the frills get us over seven not quite seven and a quarter we have to cut pages down to fit the journal we can't i mean we could fold but we'd be folding up with a pocket in and flaps which we've done that with flip flop journals that's the whole point you constantly flip them out but it might make this a little too um too thick so we'll see there's a few pages i definitely want to fold in and out but we have to work on that so our new guest checks Ugh, love these i thought would love the color so i want to use one of these decorated up probably in some aspect it might no, it doesn't fit in that. It's like, oh, if it fit in there, I put it in there. But pulling items, we have a doily we'll put in there. We'll have this to put in there. And then I think I have seven pages here that we're going to play with. And then I'll pull some um, coffee dyed and other things. I got a huge two-pound uh, variety pack of eco-dyed avocado cabbage coffee, you know, thing. I, th I need to have a, a set of these, so I'm super stoked about that. I hope you're all doing really well. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take these. we got to trim, of course, the edges. And then I made a template so I know exactly how big of, you know, paper I want. Um, and we are going to this one. You know, I sort of lined it up. I figured about here. And on this one, I might cut straight across. And we'll fold that sort of third panel um, in or out, depending on which way we decide to associate it with. This will probably be the front. We'll fold it backwards, and then we can fold it in so it pops out on the back side. Um, so we're going to go through each one of these and sort of this one, I think, you know, it's just going to be as is. Um, we'll stop here, but down that middle gives me this on one side and this on the other. So I'm so sorry. My throat and nose is not as um, clear as I expected. I'm actually a little, 
I'm a little, um, <laughs> eh. Kiki, love. Oh, she's playing with the box. Okay. I still have some boxes and things roaming around the workspace here that she has to play with. All right, so this one we're going to do single. <clears throat> this one is, though, when we fold it naturally, it does this, right? So we have these torn pages. But I think for this one, for the page, though, I think I'm going to flip it. So we have this one pretty on one side. And I'm going to trim off the bottom. Bit of a bummer, I know. More scraps. But these scraps in it are going to cover. I meant I could turn it, you know, sorry, into other bits of ephemera. So... I hope you're all doing really well. I know winter is still trugging along. This one... Oh, I really don't want to cut off any flowers, so maybe we'll do it here. I haven't decided. I think these are all going to be pretty straight-laced pages. I don't think I'm going to tear anything on the edges. All the way over... Where is that going to... That's going to fold right here and leave that. Yeah, there's just some things. What are you going to do? I could bring it up a little bit, though, so that it's more centered. I really hate doing this because it does mean we're not really utilizing every aspect. But, I mean, I'm just going to cut it straight across, straight across. It does leave me, so it leaves me, like, um, belly band type. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this right here. So, yeah, we're going to go here, but I'm going to go across and across first. So I get, I get to keep those green strips of paper. We'll go here, and then that leaves me a cute square that maybe we can do the back of the guest check or something like that. So, um, there's no... We'll find a way to short it. We're just definitely fussy cutting exactly where we want of the page. Because i got to use them one way or another. And they're all back to the really pale um, leaf pattern. I took the leaf pattern and really lightened it up. So there was no question about... You know, I could totally, we could totally write on the back of each one of these pages easily because the front is definitely not writable. This one's pretty much like the other one, so I could change it and go this way so we get that down the middle feel again. Um, but we could offset it. No one says it has to be perfect. One side will actually get more red. That way I have a nice chunk up here and another strip. I have a lot of strips here left over. So what are we all working on? I feel like it's been forever. Hopefully you guys will all let me know what projects, what spring projects, what things we've gotten into. I know it's cold out and it's so snowing and all that jazz for some people. Now this is another one we could flip out. Actually we think it would be great um, so we don't lose all these flowers. So we just need to figure out how tall I want to go with it. And I did a lot of green in this. Okay, so we're just going to do the one here and we're going to go all the way across with it. Um, and we'll do this one as a flip out also. So we have a few, few pages to play with so they're not just straight straight whatever and then this one again I think is going to be like the other one where we are going to leave the flowers on the bottom or the top I could decide once I get there um, you know which direction we want to do this in but we're gonna so change the orientation of the page which is great like there's nothing wrong with that but I love the fact that when I did this a lot, very, a lot of ripped floral layering um, like you ripped off one piece of wallpaper down the middle and you found another one underneath it, right? The old homes, that's all they do, right? The old homes, you have layer after layer of wallpaper at one point. Oh, right. So forgive me for a second. I just don't think I've had enough liquid yet. My pur pretty purple, um, I don't know what it is. I can't really turn it, so, you know. Ugh, I'm finally trying to figure out my nail issue. Ugh. I did try to put some powder on my nails to try to, you know, get, grow my own nails underneath. And that didn't work. Within about a week, I chipped a little bit off my pinky. And then a little off my thumb. And then, you know, caught it in something. And I really caught it. And I was like, oh my gosh. Pretty soon, by two, two and a half weeks, I was, you know, ripping off all the... Oh, where'd you go, child? I heard her, but I don't know where she went. She's very, um, crazy. Where'd you go? Ugh, I'm not even going to worry about it. She's gotten quite frisky with the whole new revamp of the, of the workspace and garage space. Oh, there you are. You're going to fall in the washer. <laughs> she probably needs a bath. I don't know. All right. Let's see what I'm missing. Okay, so let's do this strip first and make that work. Um, yeah, so 
I don't know. But yeah, she's yeah, she's gotten quite frisky with the whole ordeal. So I don't want to be a lot of fun. You may want to zoom through this. Um, but I figured we would get caught up. I needed to do this. I might pause at some point and let you guys like quickly. I'll quickly catch up and you know, get all these cut and prepped. But I sort of want to show you, yeah, you know, the potential of what we're doing here. I mean, you just gotta use what you gotta use, right? We take scrapbook papers. We always want to build cut those down to, into a, a direction of course that's we're gonna get the most out of it always but now that I'm ever to put the proper scraps to the side and not do the wrong things but see now we're gonna fold this once I get the everything else off it's such small pages oh my goodness it's gonna be a very cute um, but small yeah um, journal well I mean it's gonna be it's four by seven definitely a different size it's not a five by seven it's not a you know, skinny journal, it's definitely different. But, well, if I keep it somewhat simple enough, um, I think, you know, you'll get a lot of, hopefully you'll get enough writing space out of it. But we're only doing seven of these, plus the, um, you know, the insert and the, um, mm, doily. So it gives us room to put a few more eco dyed papers in here to definitely write on or put I think I got a couple pockets left. I think I have like I have a pocket, a couple you know, got a couple little things left, so we'll have to see what we can do with that. I always hope these is definitely need to um and this thing doesn't cut as I'm not sure why it doesn't feel like it cuts as straight as it should. Which is a little bit of a of an ir irritation right now. I'm getting used to it still. So. Um, but I did notice I was doing, I was doing a lot of prep work for the business. I was like, nope, I'm using the old one. I need to know exactly where it is and get that going. And Ugh. yeah, yeah. All right. And a little rough around the edges is okay. Right. Cause that gives us some, so there we go. So there's your first page and plenty of writing on the inside. Definitely want to do some inking for sure. Okay. So we are working our way. Why not? Oh, but yeah, live would be nice right now. Live would have been like, hey, what are you up to? What you doing? Talk to me, people. I really do appreciate you all coming back, though. After sort of that weird hiatus of, you know, not really being on here. I appreciate you all showing up this weekend and encouraging and all your well wishes. And, um, I'm sorry. She's driving me insane. I don't know what she's getting into. There's always, so we bring something new into the house, she really gets all spazzy. This weather's not great because she can't be outside, so then she, like, you know, gets all frisky and weird with me and the girls when she's back in the house. And I'm like, girl, we got rain over the weekend. It's supposed to be actually worse today and tomorrow. Or the biggest storm, I guess, is, you know, coming today and tomorrow. So, oh, it was really windy on Saturday, though. I'm out here trying to put orders together, and it's just, like, all of a sudden it hit the side of the house, and, the, like, in the garage, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. This is not good. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, mm, okay, so, I love that I can't cut straight. Matter, I don't care what tool you give me. I feel like nothing is straight. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I'm afraid it would Saturday was packing orders and I still had cubbies um, that I needed to put together to help me keep organizing stuff. Oh my goodness. We're about to add new inventory to the shop, both physically and then, you know, li literally online. And um, let's see. So this one, yeah, we'll fold, we'll match the, we'll do this. Like we're going to want to pick that spot where, and then we'll fold it in. So Let's see. I'd like to find a spot, but not as easy to do when it's on metal. And of course, I'm not. I lost my spot. Let's see. Where do I want to do this? Kiki. Love bug. She wasn't a big one to scratch outside, and but she'll, so she'll come in and do stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That is not... I did not help, did it? Nope. Okay. I'll figure it out. We'll do that later. I'm like, oh my goodness. All right, so that one's ready. So I'll put it back in the pile. So yes, um, I'll probably... Scooch, keep going. No. Oh. You gonna come say hi? You gonna come say hi? 
and get in my way? Of course, Mama. So what I'm going to do is, because this will take forever, and I don't want to be, like, just doing a, a, a whole video full of cutting pages. So you see where I sort of marked. I'm going to cut them up real quick. And you saying hi, kitty. Uh, I'll cut them up real quick and come back so you can, we can fold and ink and insert and sort of, you know, keep working. Because that would just be no fun, huh? Can you say hi? Will you say hi? No, I'm not going to look up and say hi, Mommy. I'm just going to be in the way. Oh, all right. I'll be right back, guys. Give me one sec. Okay, we are back. Hold on one sec. Hey, Google. Volume one. The little light is in the background. More for my liking than yours, sir. Can't get too loud. God forbid it's a non-classical song, but... Okay, so we're back. So we have our pages. Um, I have my scraps. Look at all these scraps. And I, like I said, this one might, you know, if I really wanted an odd page, um, we could put it in there. So I do have a few pages I could, pieces I probably could fold back in there. Um, if I really wanted to, we could fold them in. Maybe. So I don't know. Or we'll fold them cutely and make, oh, these actually might make really cute little, oh, not quite. It's like the back. So they laid over just right, but maybe we'll make little fold-ups. We'll do something. I don't know. Fold it up, do some cutting, and make them little pockets, little things. Okay. So we have that one. Let's see. Let's do our, our folding here. So I prefer to do this a little straighter, but let's see. Oh, who knows? Okay. So yeah, I want, totally want to know what you guys are up to. Like, I feel like it's been forever. So what projects are we working on? How are we doing with our word, year, word of the year? They said, I don't remember mine. I picked it. I'm going to have to go back to my videos and see if I ever, I thought I picked one. And I finally, finally I thought I finally picked one. But now I don't know what it was. I really don't. I don't remember um, what I wanted for my word of the year. So, oh well. That's life, right? I think it was too generic to really... Hold on. What, these are off. I am so frustrated that this machine is... This cutting thing is not as straight as I was hoping. I'm going to have to pull it back out just to clean it up. Oh, good. She left. Oh, she was going to be a little bit of a stinker there. I was like, mm-hmm. All right, let's see main camera. No, probably not our camera. But let's see if we can sort of clean this up a little bit. So we're going to have a couple pages where we have this, but we have on the back, so we have this lovely ability to flip it. Oh, yeah, that's just off, isn't it? Flip it out and use it, so that's weird. All right, that's okay. We're going to make it work, right? So we can put that one in there. We're going to start doing some... It's going to be a little bit back and forth, and I think that's going to be okay. We're going to get highs and lows depending on how I measured it. So this one I definitely wanted to do more of this. The only thing is we don't really want every page, I think, the same, because we want some, like, some things back-to-back, so maybe we get writing and we get some variety of, um, right, we got here, we can write on this side, and we got floral, but then maybe we go back, write back-to-back, -back. and that gives me the ability to put a pocket on that page, maybe, and do it that way. And we're going to do this one. I know a lot of them I love the side that they're on. Yeah, I had a problem with cutting a few of these pages. I think it, I don't know if it, it needs a blade, but it doesn't need a blade. I have a new blade for that one. Or a newer blade for it, but I don't know. I just I think I don't press down hard enough. So, I know we've had some of us seeing I'm like, oh. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's try that. So, I don't know if I like that, but we'll see. Well, if we want a little bit more matchy-matchy, I could do that one. And then we could back this one up the other way. Again, it gives me a, you know ability to put a pocket or something on the other side. I think we'll do the other flip in the middle. But flip it the other way. That's why we have this ability, which might be really nice with next to our new flip. So, let's see. There we go. That's... They're a little different in sizes, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, she's already thick. So, she, you know, just like that, she's already, you know, feeling thick. So, now this one, if I wanted to make it the center, pick a spot and then just fold this one out from the center, I guess. So, let's go about here. All right. I'll do that. I can even flip this one backwards. No one says this one has to be the other way. So as we get to the center, 
but I like the idea. There we go. So we have the writing. It definitely extends the page out, but you have this lovely piece, right? And we have our center. I have our signature, which is great with all the flowers, right? And then we go back the other direction. And we got it writing either way. So definitely need the ink. I decided, oh, I think the green might be funny. A combination of green and um, vintage um, photo might be really nice on these pages. And then we have the flip on this side. And there we go. All right, so there's the basic. Now, of course, I have it perfectly laid out, and I'm going to mess it up completely. Now, I did notice that that middle center is sticking out a little farther than the rest, and that's okay. It doesn't, once it's sewn in, it won't be that far out, and I'm okay with that, having our center being a little wider, which is great with the ordeal. Now, you need to be in here somewhere. Have our doilies. I'm stoked to be able to find, I was able to find a variety set of these, which are in the shop. Um, cause I don't have any more. I finally ran out. And I'm like, I'm in desperate need of doilies. So let's see. We can... Feels like we have a lot of white. Oh my goodness. I'm like, mm. Do I want to break that up? Or do no, I have another spot that I was like, eh. With the... I wish I'd changed the did variety of backings. Whoops. So is it this one? Yeah, maybe. Okay, I guess it is that one. I'm gonna want to do. All right, well, we can put that over that. Yeah, inking is gonna be a huge, huge thing for this one. All right, now with all that's going on, I don't know whether to put the pocket in the back or the front. But I definitely feel we need to break some of this up because I'm going to cover this. This is gonna give us some color, so we're gonna break this up here because we're going to cover this and that's going to give us some some opportunity to break it up and then lose leaves us with a pocket in the back here so we will definitely put uh, it's writing back to back where's the next one mm. put the pocket on that one because with the pocket back here and maybe we'll put a belly band on the back of one of these hate to cover it all up because we do need writing um, so I really shouldn't cover those up but we'll put a card in those, a card in them, so it's not like you're not going to get, you know, writing. That's my first page. I don't think I went. I went a little darker, and then those went lighter. How funny is that? I was just looking at, it going, hmm. I think my test it was my test print. And that's okay. That's over that front page. So that's okay. All right. So we have that. Um, I know we're gonna decorate up. I like this piece. And my guest check. So I know the writing on the back is doable for guest checks. So I hate to cover that up, but uh, I'm wondering what cute ripped. Maybe we'll rip that out and we'll with a little bit of the green, and we're gonna add that in and make it like doable. Maybe maybe make it a pocket or something on the guest check. So I want you to still be able to write. I think it's always great to be able to write on the back of the guest check because it, there are lines. Um, but I can have that little strip. Hold on. I'm getting sidetracked, but it's fun, right? Um, not that I want to cover everything up, but I mean, I could decide to rip this a little bit and cover the numbers up a little bit on the back, maybe. That was a bummer. I know it's backwards. I'm like, if you flip it up, we have it, you know, you have it here and then you, you know, flip it up and you have the thank you underneath. So, well, we might put it down that way. Maybe we'll do it. Because I didn't keep that top part, which. Is a little hard when it's in the book. Okay, so we have some potential to decorate this up. So I'll leave this to the side. That may be a short or it'll be the beginning of next week. I do have that and a couple other things to work on. So not next week, next video. There will be a Wednesday video. This is Monday, hopefully, for you guys. Okay, what else? Um, oh, we'll use that to cover. Oh, papers, 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 papers. I feel like we need more. We only have, I mean, it's telling like two, four, six, eight. That makes it 10, 12, I guess 14, 16, 18. So that's what, 36? Yeah, 36. I mean, there's, a, you know, of course, there's a flip out and some of these, you know, things, but I don't know. What else do we want to do? I need to find, let me grab my wad of paper. Mm. I don't know what. It's a huge, beautiful piece. Mm. Oh, see? Yeah. It's totally worth every bit of it because I do not. I do some things. You know, we do. Oh, that would be pretty, actually. That matches our feel. Ooh. I'm all. Ooh. 
It's a little dark though, and everything seems so silvery. But I think we need to break. We definitely need to break up all this white. So I think even if I can get two sh sheets out of that, or there's a lot in here. I thought I saw yellow. Mm, I don't know. Mm, that might be too grungy. Be, give us some color in there though. I have pink too, but we have the more. Oh, I have pink. Yeah, pink. I have blue. I love the cabbage that she does. Yeah, let's see if we can get those three in there. Um, just to, you know, change that. Now this is <clears throat> cover to cover creations. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, all her shops, all her things are in here. Here we go. There we go. Cover to cover. She's in there. Let's see. Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. But she has been my lifesaver for um, uh, Ego Died right now. She did the cabbage blue ones for the um, new snowy um, December daily that you know I started on in the beginning of the year. Which, huh, yeah, I think I get back to that sooner or later, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, my voice is off today, guys. Sorry, I probably haven't used it much. I've been so busy. All right, now the fun <clears throat> the fun part <clears throat> I love this because it is sort of pattern really cool and I think it's going to be a great page but they're all I go across I think they'll be okay I may just have to trim a little bit but we got to find a spot to um cut I really shouldn't be cutting them Mm, this way. I mean, that's fine. The right way to do this, right? I think they'll give us some color and some, and it'll break up some of all those white pages. Like, let's break up all those white pages. And I'm pulling out the, the normal girl. She's going, she's going, but I just feel like at this point we need to be a little more precise, I think. Mm, I always do this. I look at it and I think I've got it and then I forget where I was going with it. So I am cutting it um, this way. We're going to fold it here because I think it'll just fit inside. And hopefully I don't have to trim off too much. I was trying to eyeball where on the design. So that I didn't cut it too short for height. There we go. It could ripple this one quite a bit. Let's see if I have more pieces to help make stuff with. Okay. I'm hoping I don't have to do too much else. But yeah, her papers have been awesome. These were, I don't know there's so much oops, oopses, but they might be. I don't remember. It was just, she just grabs like two pounds of paper. I think it's awesome. I love the dark edge on this one. We'll get some color in here. We're going to vary it up. We're going to, that was pretty messy. Now this one would be a great page actually to put pockets on so that I wasn't wasting the writing, pa writing space. And I have actually... Give me a second. I'm like, what did I do with it? Well, those are the other ones. Yeah, I still have some pockets and some other things that sort of fit in this kit. Um, you know, I made them for a bigger journal, so it's a little harder. But I do still have all my big, large pieces to go. Where have I been? Where are my cards? Oh, here we go. So I have my double pocket, and that might actually be really cool. I'll trim it down a little bit, but that might be pretty on the on the yellow one to get that going. All right, so there's a possibility. Plenty to do. So I think we'll get the, the signature done today and then, or worked on today, and then um, we'll get some things started. But I think Wednesday will be like the more ephemera, put the pockets in and work on some of these fun projects that were, fun things that I'm coming across here. All right. So yeah, I think we're going to break up this concept. So we'll put the pocket on here and it is a little, we'll put the pocket on that one. That is long. Woo. Amazing how they change, but that's okay. Um, that has that one in it, so that that's gonna give me color. I like the extension of that one, so that's the only one I don't want to mess with. Oh, well, that's gonna be fun. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. Well. Mm. I might have to move some there around. So that to blue, that yellow. Let's see, I don't want to break that up, but then I have that one. 
Oh, may have to. Got the doily in there, which I could use the doily here because we know there's gonna be color there, and then put the brown in this one maybe. That's what I want to do, maybe. Let's try that. Mm. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that, that's twelve pieces of paper for a small piece. I know it could be up to fifteen pieces, and this is twelve. And you know, being a smaller journal, I think we're okay with that. So then, if we add lace or anything to the edges of some of these pages, it'll definitely help it stick out. But now I'm wondering if we're too far out. Well, at least you see it. At least it's not boring. And it gives us some color. Our signature does now sort of hide because of this one, but I hate to cut it, especially with the brown on one side. could trim down the other side if I wanted to, but let's, um, I'm really bummers. I can't sew these in yet because, simply because, I do need that one piece I need to cover up. So I guess we'll do that next. Oh, okay. I don't know. But, you know, are we, I know I'm jonesing a little bit for some botanical, which is nice to be working on this, even though it's a little more retro and brighter colors. Um, I am starting to crave some botanical, which is great. Um, I hate, actually even think I may want to do some digitals, I know, but just because I'm busy, I want to, I want to add one more thing to my list. And there's some pretty stuff that came across a couple of my sites, and I was like, well, maybe, you know. But then, you know, you guys really like the dangles that we created, um, the acrylic bubble dangles, and so um, I want to do another set of those. Um, I have, I think I have some left to do other, you know, do some repeat sets. I think I have, I have what I could make for another blue princess kit, and um, but I have another thought. So I have like, okay, I have two or three other thoughts for more dangles. So that's going to be an ongoing, which is great. I can create those, you know, all day and pull stuff for my kits and things like that. But, all right. But yeah, okay, let's do this. Yeah, I'm just, like, it's great because we, we have all these things that we put in the shop and I'm like, oh, look at all these new supplies and I just remember to use them though. Okay, that helps a little bit on the, on the, weight, on the weight. Helps sort of bring everything inside so I know for sure. I mean, I can bring these two down, but they're really not the problem. It is the brown one that is a little longer than everything else. And it's close to the center, so it's almost a nice thing, but it definitely sticks out. Now that is the problem we like when things are, you know, and I think if I can add some lace and some other things to bring all this out, I think it'll help. So we'll find a way to <clears throat> extend things. We'll ink everything and then get that extended and that'll help. So, okay. We are getting there. Let's find our envelope piece because I really can't scan. I can't put anything in place until I get this one done. So we're going to I'm going to be a good girl here <clears throat> and figure out we're going to clip in the right in the right spot so that I don't lose where I want it and I don't get confused. So I've got this closed and I've got this attached so I know where this goes. Because I know me. So this. This is the fun part. I've got two papers here that I think we're going to use in a variety. Um, I got my red <clears throat> red page, which is ripped and torn, and it's really cute. But I don't know if it's... I, I can, we can try to cut it and see if we can utilize it. But like, I think on the front spaces we can, and parts of the back. And I think maybe the inside then we could do... You know, on the inside we'll do this. Let's see, what are we putting it on? So red here with the white over it and red then it would be the floral against that. Yeah, no, why not? At least it's the yellow floral, not the green floral since we have a lot of green floral. Let's start with this. But yeah, I really would love to hear what you guys are up to, what you guys have got going, what you're working on. Are you crafting? Are you just watching videos? Because, well, life is life and we all have to adult and yeah, I shoot the past month I swear it's been about it's been a balancing act that's for sure I'm up most mornings at six o'clock every morning and then just to get the ball rolling to get little things done either get the start on the graphics or start on the 
the items for the business, and then it was, then, you know, take the kids to school, and run errands, and then come home, and, you know, a couple days would be like, okay, I've got to get the house done first, I've got to do this, that, and the other thing, then I can get to work, I go to mom's, and, um, we work on products, or whatever, I was like, okay, so yeah, it was, it's been interesting, I, there's some days where, you know, it's, I'm not done with business until 10.30, and then, I'm, you know, but I'm still awake. I'm still frazzled. So I think we're going to do it where we will definitely ink everything. We'll get these edges, these layering abilities. And definitely have some lar lovely large uh, ephemera that'll be great on this to break this up. Well, yeah, the rain is probably not helping matters. Ugh. Mm. Okay, let's get the... How are we doing on time? I don't know. Let's see. Make sure everything's going. 35 minutes, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thought I'd better double check after all the things, after all having problems I know is our videos are stopping out of nowhere, the YouTubes aren't uploading, or that looks fine, and then, and then, yeah, we go to put it on YouTube, and YouTube gets a glitch in the video, and, you know, just stops. That was what happened two weeks ago. I was working on the, this, you know, the cover, and I, I didn't even, I didn't even occur to me, because I was doing so many things at once. I knew it was a longer video, but I didn't catch the fact that only half of it had uploaded into YouTube, and, um, I'm, you know, I go to check my, my, like, my comments and my numbers, you know, middle of the day, and a good friend of mine, you know, um, who watches, you know, me regularly goes, I was just, I, I was really shocked that it, it, it stopped abruptly, though, and I went, ah, what do you mean? Which, luckily, I could go find the video, and so I clipped it and played with it, as you saw, and I gave you guys the other half, I was like, well, no, I, I worked on it, wait a minute. Now, I wonder if, oh, too bad it doesn't go all the way around, but I think we're just going to go, and I can force the rip on this side, or I can keep it clean on this side so it does end nicely, so I think we'll just glue it down, and and um, I will just cut it off and work it, or flip it, or wrap it around. Ooh, I could do that. I could wrap that little edge around um, and help with this. So, like, we could cover this, and I can have that edge sort of peek out over on this one corner. Okay. Well, that works, too. So, we'll, we'll glue it somewhat down. It won't go completely. And let's get this inked. Don't mind the white. I love the white, but we need to have... We need to grunge this up a little bit. It is retro. Does retro does not mean... Does not mean perfect, though. I feel retro just because of the coloring and the vector effect and, you know, the type of... The graphics I used, though I really did enjoy the kit. I don't remember where I, oh, that's what I'm just trying to remember. What did I find that one from? That was for once not a not a um, graphic query. It was a different pro, a different membership I have, and um, but I still I still went over it, went over them and found ways to put some dimension in them because I was like mm, I can't go that flat. But it was a lot of fun making it. I love that sort of torn. Torn paper, layered wallpaper, you know, rip off the wallpaper type deal. Now, the only thing with this one being so tight to this, I'm trying to think on how I want to cover this. I'm almost tempted to cut one, just cut more straight across, so that one, it's easier to cover. Because, ugh, right? Let's do that. I'm just going to cut them in just a little bit. Because it's really no fun to, um cover this when it's not straight across. So I'm going to trim it out a little bit, and we'll use the paper to help um, straighten that out a little bit, but I need to give myself some space. And then, we'll, of course, we'll put a bump in it. I'll put a um, thumb notch in it, a large one, so it's really... But you always do that afterwards. Don't do the thumb notch first, and then try to cover it. You're just going to have to go over it again. So, I'm like, nope. Not unless you absolutely need spacing, then that's different, but there we go. I want to give myself a little bit more space to to um, figure this out, because I did not want to do this the other way. I'm almost tempted to put a different paper in there, but I don't know. Do we have any scraps that... Mm, well, it's just more of the same. Actually, it's the same. I... Well, they are different, though. This one's... This one's a little bit bigger. I mean, I could do two variations of it. I could use that, and I wouldn't have to cut down as much over here. Hmm. 
Yeah, I could just use it. Let's maybe do that. I'm like, wait, why? Why waste it? Except that, ugh, I don't know. I am so back and forth. I think, nope, no, nope, 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 just do it. Like, nope, just do it now. Sometimes, I just realized, I will deco edge these edges because, oh, it gives it, when I'm covering things, I don't always go straight, I don't go all the way to the edge. And I like to be able to, um, you know, see a little bit of the work underneath and be able to give some more dimension to this. Sorry, that was sort of loud, but this one is not holding out very well either. My our deck, my our deckled edges here is getting a little um, what's the word? Jaggedy. It's, I'm having a hard time with some of the edges here cutting. So um, let's see how much of this do I need? This is good. What I have to distress that? Yeah, right there on the edge. Okay. We're going to use up the scraps one way or another. It's great to be able to use a kit. I am so stoked to be able to pull this kit out and, you know, actually use it and use up most of it. I may have a few little pieces left over here and there, but maybe we'll do a ephemera bundle to go with it. Okay, right at the blue. That's what's going on. It's really, you know, we're just prepping this and covering it up and making the most of it. Now let's get the edge here, which we don't have now, is this. I'm in camera. I'm just like I just realized I'm like working away, and I'm like, please tell me you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know why I'm having problems. I'm usually pretty, act, act, you know, ambidextrous and back and forth with what I'm doing, and I'm like, lately, it's taking me a minute to process that. We're gonna add a little here since it is white, but I'm gonna have to find something cute. I'm gonna definitely have some pockets that I have to make some cute things to go in it with. So, okay get all our edges but yeah I think we'll definitely I'll definitely off camera of course um before I sew it in we'll I will either do green and or the old vintage uh, photo edges to the pages because they are definitely white we need some dimension put this aside for a second glues oh I did this again I can't believe oh, it doesn't surprise me at all what am I saying I cut it where I cut it, and then I'm realizing I still came up too tall. Mm, yeah, just a smidge. Mm. Let's see, I don't know. Hopefully y'all did well. Thank you all for coming by this weekend to the shop. The support, the orders, the encouragements on our, um, we really appreciate all the warm wishes. On my channel, my mom's, if you're new to me, a Lorette Chandler and Vintage Paper Girl um, is also, is my, is my partner, my other half here. Um, she is definitely a huge, huge help and support um, since I need to make an income. And I'm trying to see if I can do it from home so that the girls have a little bit more support. But okay, hold on one second. Here we go again. I won't pause it this time because I want to take chances, but I'll be right back. I have to walk right in and right out to get my glue. You know, the glue's been in the house for the past two weeks because of all the back and forth weather. I'm like, eek. So the glue stick is out here. I don't know what I was thinking. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no, I need the glue. Yeah, there's the glue stick. Oh, please tell me my glue stick's over here. Yeah, my glue stick doesn't stay blue for very long. I don't know what's up with that. Um, I'm not sure if that's due to the weather or maybe it's not on tight enough. These all start out blue, but... I don't even know. I'm, gonna, I'm about to probably run out of glue sticks here soon. And I'm like, ooh, I don't know. Everybody's had to rearrange and try new things and try new companies. So you have to tell me who you guys are all using. Mom has hers, but she's had some stroke. You know, she's had to go back and forth a little bit on hers even, trying to figure out who has it and who's providing it and not charging an arm and a leg. Plenty of ways to do this. You know, whether it's a Starbucks card, a gift card. Um, there are... I think my mom uses, um, like silic silicone or whatever, uh, spatulas. There are hundreds of cute little ways to, um, spread this so that you're not using your hands all the time. Those are right there, huh? I might need to add a little glue in there. 
And I'm like, hmm, I need to do a little TLC on the edges. Ooh, I haven't used this in a while, so I'm like, oh, well, this is going to be a problem. Are you coming out? I can't believe how long it's been. Sorry. But I'm glad you're back and you're here and if you're new and you just found me, great, you don't know. <laughs> like, I'm here, I'm here. It'll be better. We'll get there. There we go. I'm like, I don't think I had anything there. It looked like it was coming out, but I'm like, did I get anything out? Yes. Okay. All right. So we did that one so that, and I'm, of course I did all that work, right? I should have moved it up and I realized we're just going to cover right over it anyway. Oh, why not? I'm a dork. That's all right. Well, maybe we won't. I don't know. Maybe I won't cover it. I hate when you're trying to do something and the angle you're in just doesn't work in your favor. There we go. I'm like, that's just a little, a little off. Because I didn't actually, there we go. Okay, so we have the inside. That's going to be great for our pocket. And now, oh, here we go again. All my stuff is all over the place. It's a little weird about expanding your workspace. You forget where things are and how to go about doing it. And it's like, Especially when your tools are being used for multiple reasons, for multiple ways. Um, it gets a little you know, anxious. So, we're going to put a huge pocket in here. Or not huge, but a good size um, cut in here. Because I do want to. I'm doing it upside down, I know. Because um, I can't put it the other way because it's too thick. Let's do about there. Let's give that a shot. I don't know. Uh, why not? Okay. I didn't think about that when I did it. That's alright. I know I got a new... Where did I get that from? Oh. No, when I did my garage sale the other week, I um came across this little cutie. And I was like, ooh. I need to start working on that kind of stuff where I need to have more, you know, little bits and pieces out and about where I can see them. So, I was like, alright. There we go. <laughs> you know me, I keep my circles. I always love having those around I'll layer with them later um, in a cluster I will put half circles and stuff and so it's one of my favorite little things to do okay so there we go we have our pocket there let's get this sort of glued down and see how it goes um, so then I can let you guys go because we are getting up there in time so I'm gonna do that we're gonna have to leave that space so let's get it glued down pretty good fold it all that jazz and then we can wrap it or I can just cut it. I may just decide it's good where it is and then I'm done. Then I do not need to worry about it. Uh, I should have my glue board. I should have my plastic down. I know better. Ugh. Mm. Doing all this gluing. I'm like, eek. Okay. Now this isn't perfect and I will have to, I probably will have to trim it at some point. Oop, too far because of the flap on this one. So I'm gonna lay it up more with the back side, more with this, because we want this straight and then I can just trim that up. And let's see, this is extra glue, I don't know. I don't know if it'll, try to see if it'll, instead of using, I don't know what, I can just sort of rub at it, but that's not as clean as I was hoping. Paper, paper, paper. I'm like, I need a dry wet wipe. So my hands and there's any stuff on them is not going to there we go I don't want to get any more coloring on this that I don't want I've been pretty impressed with these erasers too and they're little two by twos and it's like well, those are clean I don't know those if the ends are a little dirty then it's not gonna with extra glue that may transfer so just sort of you know that means it up so you can get it off, which is good. Okay. Like I said, we're just going to have to trim it a little bit here. And we can re-ink it. But that allows, you know, a clean cut up and down. Now, probably... Yeah, let's just cut here. And leave that and see. I just don't know. I do like it though. Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna do it. 
I'm gonna leave it be. I'm just gonna figure out which way to... We're gonna guess here. Because it is going to come off, so... We're gonna cut it pretty tight to the envelope. Mm, it's not the envelope. But there we go. More scraps. Yay! Scraps, inks, and scrap ink and more, right? And then we can just go in with the glitter glue when I'm done and make sure the edges are nice and tight because I prefer to do it that way. I prefer when I'm doing chunks to do the, the glue stick to get started and then anything I miss or didn't stick, I'll go back with the glitter glue and get the edges. So that way I know for sure that things are as good as I can get. Because the, the, all glue sticks just come apart after a while, so... Like here, I'm noticing even. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna use it. My so if everything glues out, I can. There we go. But we'll keep checking that. So first things first. Let's fold this. At least I'm folding outward, not inward. There we go. So there's our cover. Oh yeah, this is. Yeah, I think my glue stick is probably not as potent as it used to be because it's not blue anymore, but that I leave it open way too much. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it'd be a cute little thing if you, you know. Oh, all right. There's that. We've got that. So now let's cut this and then I should skip saying, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. But we're crafting and we're working and I'm in the groove and I want to talk. But yeah, we'll have to get going as we're doing stuff and see if we can do a little bit more live. I guess, I do, like I said, we have that mobile live option. I just don't know what my what that actually means. If it's the wrong direction, it's going to be sort of a bummer when we're crafting. Where it feels more like a reel than a live video thing. So we'll see. One thing at a time. You know, you know it's already... Gosh, I only have, what, a week? Two weeks? Two weeks of February left, so at least there's not... At least we're not at the end end. You know, we have passed the middle point, so... We have actually passed the middle point. But we have leap year this year, so we get an extra day in February. Woohoo! I don't know. Extra day in February, and then we have... So what am I thinking? Do we like that? <gasps> I could make it a tuck, though. Ooh. Pocket and a tuck there, right? Oh, I like that idea, actually. So, let's just glue that one. Instead of covering it... Comp I mean, I know we're still covering it. It doesn't change that fact. But what if we... We're taking this payment envelope and we're going to turn it into, you know, a page pocket. With a you know, pocket, a tuck, and a pretty, pa and a pretty decorated page or two. Hmm, there we go. Let me get a tuck. Something cute and little I'll throw in there. So I can put two two things in here. Alright. Where's that? Now we just gotta cover the other side. I'm probably way I'm getting past two, aren't I? How are we doing? I hope you guys are watching and enjoying. Yeah, I'm at fifty three minutes. Almost done though. Okay. One more piece. What was I gonna do? Oh. So we'll do the smaller version over here. And since yeah, we we are definitely covering that up. Let's just cut the edge here. If we want that to line up with the fold, we will glue it down, and then I'll trim off, you know, whatever we don't need. So that way, the edges and all that are going to be, you know, we'll line it up here and glue it down, and then I'll cut out around it. So, almost want to put something in here, but we'll see. Maybe if I end up with a strip of something different for a third, we might do that. Okay glue stick. Oh, but I do appreciate you all watching, liking, loving, commenting, coming along, checking back in with me. If you're new and just found me, thank you so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too eh for you on the first time watching me, but there are plenty of other videos to go back and binge watch. Um, I'll link here at the end the where this one began way back when. Um, which yes, it does. I think that one though does abruptly stop, but what are you going to do? There are two from two weeks ago uh, on a Monday and a Wednesday that, you know, you can watch to see how this began, where we got from it, a short, I think, on it, um, all that jazz. Or, you know, we just keep moving along. It's all good. 
But hopefully um, we'll do some decorating on Wednesday on this one, and then I will move on to the next project with you guys. I don't know what that's going to be. I know we still have a cover to do for... I think I'm going to round that with a rounder. Um, we still have to do a cover and um, put, in, put the pages into the Snowflake Journal. My, you know, my fancy, it's supposed to be my fancy December daily for next year. But I don't know. I may just make it really pretty and see if I can sell it. I know I had someone possibly interested in it, in it and I wasn't sure of what I was going to do. I was like, oh, do I, do I sell it and just like do something else for my December daily next year? Or do I keep it and just go for it, you know? It depends. Sometimes it's, it's too pretty. You don't want to sell it. And if it's you know, or it's, well, it's super pretty and why not, you know, sell it and share the, share it, share it with the world. So, but I do appreciate you all, all your help, your support, your love means the world to me. You come back and watch every week, every day, whatever, you know, days and whatever I do, but there we go. All right. This would be another cute, this would just been a cute little pocket purse ephemera piece, but we are definitely going to put it in because we want some variants. We want some different pieces in the kit. And on the safe side, let's see, we're going to fold it both ways. Oof, see that's what happens when I fold it that way. Mm. Maybe I won't. I was going to try to um, ink a little more, but now doing that, I know I have to I'm definitely going to have to do some ink gluing. All right. Well, I'm rambling, r ranting and raving. Didn't have a lot to talk about. I don't want to talk about the store too much. The kids are doing good. We're, the competition went well. They came in second place. So she's glad to be done with that because they're, they were super tired. But maybe we, we'll talk about the kids and how life's going. How about that on the next one? Since this was just trying to get through our signature, getting that going. So I'll make sure I have this all inked and uh, sewn in um, on the next round. So that way we can decorate and add, you know, decorate and add those pieces on the outside. So there we go. We have that to help break up our, you know, pages. Super cute on the back side. We have that, so we'll have that double pocket there. So I will definitely put, you know, we'll put the other pocket uh, yellow on this side, inside or out. Right, we'll do we'll do it on this side. That way you can still write on the back. And all that jazz to break it all up. And we'll definitely decorate that up. So plenty still to do to the journal. Just to get it going, but it is definitely giving a nice little crocodile crocodile feel. Woohoo. And so the only thing I've decided was whether I was gonna put another um maybe slightly fabric cover over this to make it even more stout, but we'll see what happens when I um if I sew it in, though, I have to sew it all the way through two covers, so I don't know. I think it's pretty stout. I mean, it's a bag, and we have a lot of paper wrapped around to help keep it um, what it needs to do, so I think we'll be okay, but there it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming along as we get back into our groove and we work on new pieces, getting our signature ready for our cute little 4 by 7 journal. Yep, there it is. That's it. So... Love you all very, very much. Thank you so much for joining along. And I will talk to you all on Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.